King's Road. Continue on our way. All right, blacksmith. Anders greets you with a smile. Ah, there you are. We were just about to leave. You must be wanting this shield. It's a thing you put in front of you so people don't hit you. No, really. I'm sure you can work it out. I don't know. It seems pretty complicated to me. Use defend to reflect attacks from ranged enemies. Can only be equipped with a one-handed weapon. Shield increase defense by five. Well, hold on. Let me equip this shield here. We're going to t put on the sword and therefore going to put on the good shield. So, what helmets do we have? We only have one helmet. And we also have one armor. Sorry, 35. So let's upgrade a suit of armor. Or upgrade leather armor. Yep, that means for the next five for the next five cards, we're not going to have this armor helping us. You hand the smith your armor, and he begins examining the item thoroughly, inspecting every joint and seam. Yes, I can certainly improve this, but it will take several days. I'm heading to Evergreen. Meet me there, and the job will be done. Oh, if you bring another item there, I'll see if I can prove it as well. Yep. Five cards. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Motherfucking. Fuck. Doc. Fuck. Yeah, we did it. First try, 17 on our roll, magically. All right, find our way out of the swamps and into it a mire. Not too late to plan better. Steel is musketeers. All right, and steel. Okay, so we're either dealing with steel or steel. Oh no, we're dealing with, oh shit, we're dealing with all of those on the one side or all of these on the left side. Well, I'm gonna go with the Empire. Even though heavy weapons would be better, I prefer my chances with my quick sword. Really, I do. I might just try and parry a lot of attacks and let Colby do all the damage. Try to. Not gonna succeed though. I can guarantee that. I'm gonna have to hit mash X every once in a while, but to try my damnedest to hit Y. Look at that lovely helmet and that shield. It's a shield. Better than an old wooden shield that we had. When skies are darkened by your enemy's volleys, fight in the shade of this per personal wooden bulwark. Right. Come on, boys. Die like the rest. Charge, Colby! And he's dead. Hey, I reflected a bullet. That's the first time I've done that. Charge, Colby! Good job, Colby. Die, soldiers, die! Oh, and he's dead. No. Charge, Colby! What's the matter, dazed and confused, are you? You're not just dead. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we alive yet? Are we doing all right yet? The bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Nope. They still hate me. Fuck you. Fuck you, you piece of shit dice. Fuck you, you piece of shit dice. I was, I was trying my damnedest to get them to... Yevon's Cottage! 
By the side of a waterfall, you meet a young woman with a strikingly with strikingly gray hair. She is holding a baby. Greetings, traveler. Treat these waters with caution. They are not to be meddled with. If you if you're parched, you're welcome to stop by my cottage. I have a pie cooling on my windowsill too. Behind her, a little wooden sign reads, "Waterfall of Youth. Very dangerous. Stay clear." I am Yevon, the woman says as she leads you to her cottage. As was promised, a hearty beef pie awaits you. You enjoy it with a side of mashed potatoes. Thanks, I was needing some food. With the meal finished, Yevon asks you to help her while she puts the baby to sleep. The rare sunsheen flower grows nearby and she'd like you to gather a bloom. It feels impolite to refuse. The sunsheen sprouts from the rocks behind the waterfall. If you were careful, you could c climb over to retrieve one without falling into the water. Try to receive the sunsheen flower. Remembering the warning, you inch your way along the rock while gingerly moving from stone to stone. Oh, fuck my life! The pendulum swings like a scythe. They didn't move today. I liked this pendulum. You manage to grab a ledge and regain your balance. From here, you reach the sunsheen bagot and make your way back to the shore. Thank God, Yevon is delighted to see the sunsheen. Most travelers just eat and leave. And thanks, she gives you a gift. This will protect you in your travels. Ah, it's not a protection. How do I get protected from that? That doesn't make any sense, lady. How is that going to protect me in my travels by revealing my map that's not even, like, damaging things? It's a friendly innkeeper. By healing. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, 15, 25, 10, 10, 20. Okay, so let's remove one of the 10s. Remove. And then I can't read these anymore. hi -ya! Just going to hope for the best. That uh, sounds pretty good. I'm gonna not nudge at all. Just gonna take it. I'm gonna accept it. Thank you. I will also buy some food. I'll buy five food for 16 gold. That's enough for now. I'll ask about lodging. That does nothing. Not right now. I'll discuss the latest rumors. You and the innkeeper discuss local points of interest. I already have the map unveiled, so that doesn't help me any. We'll buy some more healing. And we're going to remove another 10. And then... Well, I mean, there's no need to nudge it, because that's the most from... I mean, I could nudge it left and get another 20, or I could just stay on the 20 that I have, or I could do less with 15. So we're going to stay with the 20. And I'm going to leave the rest of my gold in case of an emergency. Callie's back. Continue on with my journey. Ah, oh, there you are, Anders says, stepping back from the anvil. I guess you've come to collect this. Leather armor. Simply the middle road. Yes. 45. All right. The Smith's workshop workmanship is exemplary. The armor feels stronger than it once was, yet it, its weight remains unchanged. Upgrade my last, my only helmet. I'm hoping I don't run into any more wheel gambits because that was a great thing to have. You hand the smith your helm, and he begins to examine it thoroughly, inspecting every joint and seam. Yes, I can certainly improve this. Oh, if you bring another item to me, I can improve it as well. Stirring in the mire. Case of pre. Greed. Four of greed. Anarchist of greed. So we're taking whatever's not that. Frost. Okay, that's lovely. That's just lovely. It's just lovely. I'm gonna fight, fight the raiders. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't have these shitty neglected weapons. But we're gonna fight the raiders of the Lost Ark. Kobe! Talk to your kinsmen for me! Put in a good word, let them go easy on me. Make them go easy on me. Or just make them not fight me at all. Or just... Can we diplomatically deal with this situation? 
seems like something we can do. I mean, we're all men of the north. Some of us less north than others. But, you know. I'm from the northern Sutherlands. No, fucker. I hate you. Fuck off. Okay. Bullshit, I hit Y. Son of a bitch. Get back up. I like how nobody's hit this guy. So I'll do the honors. Kobe, charge! Kobe, help me! Kobe, help me! Kobe, help me! Ow, fucker! There we go. Kobe. I'm hurt. I'm hurting. Oh boy. Can we just get rid of the Myers? I don't need any treasures. Ah, right, we did it. With the help of the ring. Hey, Billy Clubs! One wonders how an inanimate object determines its sense of right Defeat and wrong. 15 Let thieves with a finish. Upon you, let's, hope, me. let's hope that the next thief cards that I get don't have the anarchists, because then I'll, then I'll take them on. The old maiden asked for longer life. Thank you. Lovely woman. Turn back for now, because I really want to see what these two cards are, and I'm really hoping that they're not going to be these problematic... Fuck. We're dead. Dead are we. We're so fucking dead. Just call us cadaverific. Fuck. Hey, Captain. How you doing? Charge, Kobe. That was great. Now I can take them all one by one. Don't worry, Kobe. I got this one. I got this guy. You take on the other guys. I got that one. Uh, I hit Y for that one, but okay. I'm focus firing this guy. Oh, that's the captain. That's the captain. That's the captain. That's the captain. I didn't realize that was the captain. That's the captain. Don't mess with. Don't fuck with the captain, guys. Colby, you're down. Get back up. You get knocked down, but you get up again. And you need to fucking kill them now. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. While I murder your friend. Fuck off, captain. Fuck off, captain. Fuck off, captain. Hey, where are you going? We're just dancing here. Not actually fighting each other. Nobody seems to be in combat. Everybody's just like swinging but missing each other. Fucker! Damning piece of garbage! Die! Ow. Come here, musket man! Don't scare me like that! Motherfucker! Could you fuck right off, please? Thank you. Nope. Just not nope out of that situation. Fuck all of that. Alright, so. Smash, 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 smash. Hey, Kobe, charge. As a charge, damn it. You're done. Get fucked. 
That was a pain in the ass. A royal pain. Now that I'm bleeding profusely, can I get any sort of info anything from that? Health tonic would be lovely. No. Alchemist! One of the pure arts. That says little for its practitioners, however. Hi. Countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room on a center central workbench. A peculiar glass beaker simmers over a flame. Ah, I see you found my laboratory then, a voice exclaims. From behind a pile of dusty books, a robed figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. He smiles, here to create the elusive elixir of life, or perhaps it is gold you desire. All is possible through alchemy! Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible, he explains. No matter. Say, would you care to assist me in my experiment? Help the alchemist. Very well. Let's begin. Take a jar and place it. its contents in the beaker, he says, as he dips his quill in an inkwell and prepares to write. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. You take a jar from the shelf and unscrew the lid. Oh. Sure. I don't know what's good or not. Uh, red feathers. That sounds pure. Was that good? The jar contains a collection of red feathers. You place one in the beaker and it dissolves instantly. The clear liquid gains the faintest tint of red. Excellent, the alchemist says as he scrawls feverishly in his ledger. Now pick another. Oh, I must pick red things. Or feathers. Oh shit, do I pick red things or do I pick feathers? Red things or feathers, guys! Red things or feathers! Go with red things! I hope I don't need it to be feathers only. Jar contains dried red beetles. You sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly. The red elixir intensifies. Remarkable, the alchemist mutters as he continues to write in the ledger. This is looking promising. Now pick one more. Reach for the next jar. Looking for that red mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Old memes, old memes. As you add the red mushrooms, the mixture glows an intense red, lighting up the room. Eureka! The alchemist's eyes grow wide with excitement. The fabled elixir of life, he eagerly dips a large ladle in the glowing liquid and holds it out to you. Here, drink it! The dealer draws you two max life gain cards. I prefer them to be regular life gain cards, but uh, max life, alright. The red liquid is sweet like honey and warm like sunshine, refreshing as a seaside breeze. You hear the sound of gulls and children laughing, and for a moment your troubles are abolished. Your mind clears and you find a newfound strength and hardiness about you. Sweet! That was worth it. Alchemist thanks you profusely for your assistance before returning to his ledger to make more notes. And that's on to the next level. Give me my helmet back, I'm in dire need! We need the Shattered Forge, motherfucker! The world. God damn it! You spy a column of smoke in the distance. Wreckage strewn across the road alerts you to the fate of the traveling forge. You rush to the forge and find Anders sitting on a wooden stool amidst the debris, startled but otherwise okay. Ha! Huh. He looks up. I was hoping you'd find me here. The ogre Drachnar ambushed the forge while I was traveling to Braden. I'm fine, he continues, tearing, tearing up a little, and the forge can be rebuilt. It's Ari that I'm worried about. She stormed off in a rage. Her heart is in the right place, but I fear she is no match for Drachnar by herself. Oh, I almost forgot the smiths, continues. You'll probably be wanting this, or needing this. Yes. Bring... Really? Really? You motherfucker! Smith's workmanship is experimentary. The helm feels stronger than it once was, yet its weight remains unchanged, and I don't get that five extra points! God fucking damn it! I'm afraid the forges have no say to assist further in your quest. Of course not, because that's fucking bullshit. Now please stop Ari before she does something foolish. You thank the smith and set off towards the ogre's lair and search for her. You fucking god, god fucking goddamn piece of god fuck, god fuck, god. Scroll clan eye bright. Damn, ah. And here is your reward. 
At least in potential. The dark foreboding woods stretch out in front of you. Make camp on the fringe of the forest. This is new. This is very new. Okay, well, we're gonna re-roll that one. Because two fives are great. And we win. What do we get? What's our prize for camping on the well edge of a done. burning forest? You continue to impress. I. Uh, you set up camp in a clearing on the edge of the forest. The night is uneventful. As dawn breaks, you hear a cheerful whistle. A burly woodcutter strides into the forest with remarkable confidence. Await the woodcutter's return. Before midday, you hear the woodcutter's jovial whistle again. He has returned with a large bundle of dark black wood on his shoulder. You make your way to greet him. Well done. Okay. I did it. Screw Clan Eyebright. Go to hell with you. Can't you see I'm pissed about the fact that I don't have the goddamn... God, that's lovely. This is great. Can I camp? Is there a trader with equipment? Oh, you son of a... Fucking bitch. Alright, um... We're gonna sell the Billy Clubs. And the healing spirits. And the shield. It's got 15 defense, right? Hold on, before I sell that, buy equipment. Inspect. 15 defense. Motherfucker! God damn it! Piece of shit! I really, really wish that I had started with this. So that's what we need to do, is start with Bastion of Purification to basically get this fucking thing working. Or I need to find Bastion of Purification before the last level. I need to find a helmet, a shield, and a set of armor. Well, there's no point in selling my other equipment then. I was gonna start selling everything in order to, you know, get the gold for that, but if it's got the exact same amount as my other one, there's no point. I was really hoping that I would be able to just buy that shield and it would be better than the one that I have by five points because that's all I need to get that gold token but the game just constantly shits on my face and fucks me over with the no fuck you you don't get to have these tokens you didn't work hard enough even though you went everywhere and tried your damnedest Watch what the fuck you're doing. Colby, get up. I mean, I'm in need of your services, Colby. Ow, fuck you, asshole. Kobe, break out! Break free! Kobe, break free! Kobe, break free! Fuck off, northerners. Northern trash shit. Good job, Kobe, taking that bullet for me. Northerners. How is this one not fucking dead yet? I don't know. She's gonna take you down the road here. Don't mind me. Damn it. He died before I had the chance to kill him with the finisher. Charge, Colby! Damn it, I did it again! And he's dead, you're the last one, jackass! Fuck you! Asshole! Alright. 
I guess they must have made it easier than it was because I remember the very first. I remember running into the ogre a lot in the the beta, and you'd end up getting hurt from him, and one shot would kill you. It was garbage. Who are you that you flee so eagerly to the source of your own destruction? Uh -huh. Staggering across fields of bones in order to seek revenge? Yeah. Mist pools in the foothills as you approach the ogre's lair. Bones of fallen champions litter the way, picked clean by vultures. Their weapons lay here and there, rusted by the damp and twisted by the weather. This is the last chance to improve your defense. As in, I can get my defense improved, or that I have to turn back before going on. Well, I'm going to go on because I don't have anything. You catch up with Harry as she charges through the hillside. In her hand, she carries a massive mace. It's face fashioned from the traveling forge's anvil. That's how much of a badass this woman is. Let us see how he likes it when my forge fights back. We are close, Colbjorn whispers, drawing his blades and scanning the rocky outcrop ahead. Keep your wits about you. If you have to make preparations, this could be our last chance. This is no time for caution, Ari says, pushing past. Let me at the beast. No one destroys my father's forge and continues to draw breath. She stops and lets out a roar. Where are you, monster? The silhouette of the ogre looms out of the mist. He raises the club above his head and leaps down from his perch, smashing the ground in front of you. The poor fools come happy to their death, he grins, displaying a mouth of yellow, jagged teeth. Crunch, crunch, the little wagon went. Dust your bones, sing as beautifully. Eri bellows in defiance and charges her foe. Trachnar swings his club wildly, catching Kolbjorn and sending them flying. Then the ogre swings at you. With surprising dexterity, Eri leaps to your aid, taking the blow in your stead. Battered, she crumples to the ground at your feet. There was no way you'd be able to take the blow of that magnitude in that armor. She huffs blood bubbling from her mouth, but I'm afraid I won't be of much help now. Dragnar roars and charges into battle. Yep. So I'm screwed all by myself because the fucking game screwed me over and didn't give me the ability to get fucking armor I needed early enough. simple as that. So I now have to defeat Drachnar the Mighty all by myself without any help and without the, the proper level of armor. Drachnar the Mighty, even amongst ogres, Drachnar is feared. Once he was a leader among their kind, but those days are long gone. The ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Beware, a club deals devastating damage. Evade or perish. Hi. How you doing? Ow, you kicked my head in. Ow. Could you not? Could, could you just not? Take that, asshole. Come on, Drackey. I don't like you, Drax. Oh god. Focused. Too focused. Too focused to commentate. Okay. Let's not. Dodge, please. Thank you. Survive, please. Thank you. I won. Holy shit, Dragnar's big! God damn! And I did that with a rusty weapon. Neglected sword. Fucking hell. Okay, with the ogre defeated, you help Aerie and Colby to their feet. Then you see it shining under a pile of bloody drags and small bones. The other half of the charm. The two halves of Odysseus' charm slide together, and with a rush of relief, you feel the curse lift. Odysseus' Every charm understands how best to cleave flesh from bone. Create an aura that lasts 60 seconds. While active, gain one food for every enemy defeated. Excludes undead. Powerful combat item with a limited number of uses. All right. 
With a shout of joy, Ari Lee lifts her hammer to the sky. Wow, now that was exhilarating. You didn't even do anything. We brought down Dragnar the Mighty. We're bloody heroes. Speak for me, myself. I'm the hero, you people. Colby was unconscious and you were bleeding from the mouth. Ari runs a hand over her hammer. She seems reluctant to let this moment go. Say, you don't need some extra muscle in your troop, do you? You've befriended Ari the Blacksmith. And that gets us our silver token. We'll have to try this one again for a gold. But and that so will have to wait. More tools, and with each step, more power. Of course. For defeating the ogre Drachnar the Mighty. Stirring in the mire. Wetland ambush. And Toshers. Who the hell would possibly put wetland ambush in on purpose? I mean, honestly, why would you want to be ambushed? For defeating the Ogre Dragon of the Mighty, your supplies have been added to Battered Helm. For defeating the Ogre Dragon of the Mighty, Odysseus Charm, Sisters of Vengeance, and Ward of the Innocent. And for befriending Ariadne, Anders the Drunkard, and the Blacksmith. And four separate door tokens. This was a very productive run. For crossing the desert. Cave of Wonders. Oh boy, are we gonna find the ma the uh, magic carpet and the magic lamp with the, with uh, the Robin Williams genie? We're helping gather sunshine flowers for Yvonne, Yvette's cottage. Okay. Do I have to help all the sisters, Yvonne, Yvette, and y Yolanda? Uh, I'm just taking a guess at it. For discovering the elixir of life, Lionheart. I'm getting a lot of these platinum cards. And lastly, for finding a survivor of the deadly forest, Cheerful Woodcutter. Think, and, do not continue to fail me. <sighs> I have need of your greatest efforts. Yeah. But that will have to wait until next time. Oh, that was a rough one. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comments section down below. If you want to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook to become part of the conversation, also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm DemonFire93, and I'll see you guys next time.